well dear friends we have with us our senior professor and mentor balachandran ayya with us to introduce this today's special speaker and also tell about the topic welcome professor balachandran ayya be blessed by the divine Uh, thank you, Professor Bharati. Uh, a nice meditation and an introduction. Welcome to all of you to this program, especially to all wait for Sundays where we have some specialists coming and speaking, sharing their experiences, exposing their knowledge to us about the sky system. And today we have uh, my close friend, Assistant Professor Karuna Murthy. From Singapore, is there in the system for more than fifteen years. The Supreme Sky Yoga Center of Singapore, that's where he belongs right now. But he belongs to the whole world, uh, as his name suggests. Karuna Murthy is a very kind-hearted man. You know, in our sky system, we have a scheme called Village Service Project. Many don't they adopt a village? And the whole village, the sky system is taught to people of all ages, men and women, educated, uneducated, right from beginning, right up to Brahmanyanu. And many of them become even masters. I mean, Swamiji's dream, the lowest level of person also should be exposed to sky system and transform his life. And Karuna Murthy has adopted such a village and more than 25 Brahmanyanis come from there. A government school, he has adopted a school from where 250 youth, um, uh, youth, they have gone through our uh, human excellence program. He's a, a very senior member of the Singapore Development Committee itself. In Singapore, they're doing excellent work. And earlier he was in Thailand, in Bangkok and nearby areas, he has open centers and he used to have regular programs there. He also translated our exercise book into Thai language. He also translated it, got it translated in the German language. So that's, I think, a true representative of the World Community Service Center. We are all very proud of him. And today he's going to talk about emotions and energy loss without taking much time between you and Karuna Murthy. I once again warmly welcome my friend Karuna Murthy to take over. Thank you, sir, for your number. Be blessed by the divine. Thank you, Madam Bharati and uh, Senior Professor Balachandran and also Professor Roy Shagaran for giving me this uh, opportunity to share the Maharishi's thoughts here. So we are going to briefly go through the emotions and energy loss. So we give different name, but the basics are from Maharishi. I just share the screen. Hope the screen is clear. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So today in uh, the pandemic condition, everybody is well aware about keeping the immune system high. 
so before we go to the topic of emotion and energy loss i would like to touch upon the basics of our physical self and how the energy system works within us and what is the source of energy and what is the expenditure of energy and how we can balance it and how the emotions are unintentionally result in loss of the vital energy so most of us know about panchabudas so akash air fire water and solid in our physical system life force is the ether and breathing is air and body temperature is heat and the blood is the liquid and physical cells are solid and we also have the energy centers which is representing the five elements mooladhar is for air and swadhisthanam for water and manipurakam for fire and anahadam for air and visuddhi for life force we know the earth is rotating at the speed of 1000 miles per hour and our body system has five elements out of these five elements life force particles is the lightest and the physical cell is the heaviest one and by the gravitational force we are sticking to the surface of the earth and we are rotating at the speed of 1000 miles per hour so due to this natural phenomena the light life force particles try to escape from our physical body and so to have a harmony between the physical body cells and the life force the three other circulations three other elements air circulation heat circulation and blood circulation should be kept in normal proportion so that there is a bonding between the life force particle and the physical body cells so this is the reason in one form of other exercise is very vital for maintaining good health and uh, good immune system this is the science behind that and all our cells are polarized like a magnet north and south the cells are polarized according to the intensity of the polarized energy or the bio energy the cells are bonded together and uh, we see like a, a full shape body when this energy uh, reduces then we get into the aging process so there is a polar attraction and repulsion everybody knows there is only physical body so what we can physically see is the physical body this is common man's understanding but the philosopher maharishi explains further beyond the two more bodies which is astral body and causal body so physical body is association of self as we see in the previous slide each cell has a polarized bioenergy which is by the intensity of that the cells are bonded together and we see the physical body as some shape so the astral body which is also called spiritual body is the real core of the physical body association of life force life energy particles so this life energy particles is also called you can say 
today science is inventing god particle and in maharishi's philosophy the god particle what today science has found is also association of paramanus so here in our physical body such life energy particles which is spinning and revolving and this are within the physical boundary of the body and also few of the energy particles will be away from the physical boundary physical body boundary so this also we see in the previous slide when the earth is rotating if we don't have a good blood circulation heat circulation and energy circulation these life energy particles will not have good bonding with the physical cells and they will have the tendency to fly away so this astral body is bigger than the physical body it means it is it can stay within and it can stay away from the means it can fly away from the physical body cells the next point we know something about the life force particles are present throughout the entire body which we have dealt last slide so the constant whirling motion of these life energy particles forms a center any rotating objects will have a center so even in the physical body the life force particles which is spinning and revolving it forms a center which is called genetic center or muladhara so it is it is a genetic center which is physical center of the body by the height breadth and width so this is uh, the energy is concentrated at the genetic center so here we have one more thing people who attended kaikalpa may know something about this so the sexual vital fluid the saman which has energy for creating bio energy within the creating the bio energy within our physical self so these particles always in constant whirling motion and radiating spreading waves throughout so when these life energy particles are spinning they are also compressed by the self surrounding divine force or almighty force so when they are compressed and revolving there are shadow wave particles generated by the space compression and the revolving life force which causes those shadow wave particles dissolve into the space and forms the bio magnetism in living being we call this magnetism as bio energy similar ether particles are compressed and revolving and forming a shadow wave particle and then dissolving and forming magnetism in the cosmic which is called universal magnetism so this magnetic body is also bigger than the physical body because we know this life force particle and the energy emanating from the life force particles are uh, together and when life force particles are little bit expanding away from physical body this magnetic body also will be expanding and it is generally 1 feet from the body boundary the, the general magnetic body of normal person is 1 feet from the physical body people who are meditators this magnetic body will be much bigger we will also see what is the value of this biomagnetism what is the purpose of this biomagnetism how our physical organs and mental functioning all the digestive system how it is function because we are not connected with any wire correct but all these organs are functioning digesting the food and uh, mental function 
nervous system, everything. So this biomagnetism or bioenergy is the fuel for each and every function of the cells in the body. 70%, 75% of energy is spent by 25% of the energy is spent through the mind function, so the brain function. So this is the fuel for our body functioning, bioenergy. And this maintaining a polarity of cells, we already seen. And uh, also the bioenergy maintains the body temperature. Now we will touch upon energy sources for the physical self. Generally, people are aware only from food and water we get energy, which is not so. We have energy from food and water. We also have energy from air. Energy is one form of magnetic. So when we take a deep breath, this air, energy from this air cells are connected to the blood and then blood purification and energy exchange is happening. So this is another source of energy to our physical self. The third source is earth fission energy. Earth is having a molten lava at the middle of the earth and this fission energy emanates and it also gives energy to physical self. And the fourth source is the solar system planetary rays. So we have one of our solar system that is the sun surrounded by planets. And all these planets have linked to our part of the physique. And this emanating rays also gives energy to our physical self. That is the reason in all religion, we have one form of other fasting system. During the fasting, what we do is, by the ritual, we cut down the food and water. And during this time, there is an energy exchange taking place from air, earth fission energy, and solar system plant waste without our knowledge. Even we can see sometimes when we feel hunger, we for some reason, we are not able to immediately take food and water. And after some time, we feel the hunger being subsided. The reason being, the other three energy sources started, started uh, getting into our system. So only by this uh, exchange of other higher level energy, our spiritual development, mental uh, faculty and uh, our willpower, all those things will develop. That is the reason in every religion, this fasting method is part of uh, ritual it is set in. We have seen how the energy conversion, uh, just to see from food and water, it transforms to vital energy at the seventh stage. It becomes juice at the stomach and it transforms to blood. Then the blood enriched to become a flesh cells and the cells enriched to become fat. Fat enriched to become bone. Bone enriched to become bone marrow. And from the bone marrow, we get a sexual vital fluid and that contains the energy particles and then that circulates all over the body and gives the bioenergy. The conversion of and conversion and consumption of biomagnetism is called mind and which functions through the brain cells to give our physical and mental ability. So this is mind is also a form of uh, magnetic wave. Okay, now we come to the main topic. So far we have seen how our body system works and how are the energy sources. And uh, now you see how the emotions are going to 
deplete our energy expansion of astral body so astral body we know is association of life energy particles they are spinning and rotating so our emotions mind frequency varies from 14 to 40 cycles per second when we are deep sleep we go to 14 cycles per second when we are emotional and agitative we touch 40 cycles per second so depending upon the frequency of mind body the particle spinning speed will increase mind frequency is directly affects astral body particle spin speed when the spin speed increases the spin speed increases the magnetic field around those particle also increase and they repel each other when they repel each other the astral body expands when astral body expands the physical body boundary is fixed and astral body expands that go away from physical body and it is one way traffic you cannot get this uh, astral body back to the body system so whatever energy particles emanate away from the physical body is loss as life flow energy particle spin speed increases the astral body expands and the energy particle exit the physical body so this is how when we get emotional the astral body expands the astral body is not only astral body we already seen the astral body is associated with the causal body causal body is the magnetic body so each cell has magnetism and that association of cell is the astral body and the association of this each cell magnetism is the magnetic body or causal body even this causal body also will expand during the emotional process as life energy particle spin speed increase the astral body expands each energy particle when compressed by self compressive surrounding almighty force the shadow of particle is generated and dissolved in the space even the shadow of particle is being compressed by the uh, almighty force they get dissolved and forms a magnetic wave that is called biomagnetic in living being and in the outside the other than living being in the cosmic it is called universal magnetism so the expansion of causal body is also a loss of energy from physical body when energy particles exceed the physical body the magnetic body expands and bio energy is lost we also will see how the expenditure of energy through five sensories so we we know the complete body functioning is through bio energy and we have five sensories through five sensories only we enjoy the daily life so five sensories everybody knows touch sense through skin and taste sense through tongue and uh, smelling through nose and viewing through eyes and uh, hearing through the ear so these are the five sensories so through eyes we spend about 83% of our bio energy and through hearing it is 13% of energy is spent and rest of three sensories smelling sensory taste sense and touch sense they cover about 4% so here how we get emotional we get emotional only mainly through the two sensories that is through eyes and hearing if somebody is annoying us or somebody is scolding us if we take those things into our heart our mental frequency will increase when mental frequency increases all the spinning particles in the astral body increase and then we get the energy loss which we have seen in earlier so expenditure is through so we we should see from here out of the five sensories the two sensories are quite important and uh, to be very um, purposefully to be spent 
through the eyes and hearing. And also we should have modernization in our five activities, food, work, rest, thought, and sex, which also either it should be, should not be neglected or improperly used because that will cause short circuit of biomagnetism and it will cause pain, disease, and result in death, depending upon the magnitude. So be blessed by the divine. I think I quickly covered and uh, I leave the forum for question and answers. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. It was indeed a very interesting and excellent speech. You explained very well about how we get this biometric energy, how it is being spent and all. Thank you very much, sir. Over to you, Balchandran, sir. Yes. Uh, thank you, Professor Karmakarimurthy. As the Swami's greatness is concept, introduction of the concept of biomagnetism and how it influences, how, how important it is, these are all uh, the world is it to know about these things. We know about electromagnetism and ferromagnetism, but very little about biomagnetism. It's an important topic on which uh, the Professor has given details about how the magnetism can be absorbed, what are the ways by which we waste it, how we can properly utilize it. <clears throat> Thank you very much. In spite of his uh, busy schedule, he keeps traveling to different countries. In fact, I was thinking that uh, he will shortly be starting centers even in Indonesia when he goes on tour. So I think in this public forum, I am requesting him. <laughs> so when he yeah, makes so his agenda. In fact, Professor Rajshekar has gone there recently and uh, laid a background, a foundation. So it's for you, sir, once again, to one more country. I would request you to take uh, Sky System. Thank you for Thank your you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, dear friends, you have any questions? Kindly raise your hands. We will unmute you. Sunanda. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, actually, I was really impressed by the presentation, sir. It was very excellent, the PowerPoint presentation. Uh, and uh, you had given it a very detailed uh, manner, you know. Uh, it was very uh, easy to absorb what you were trying to tell. Uh, with your um, uh, speech. So I was really, uh, uh, it was very captivating that your PowerPoint, I've never seen a, this kind of a presentation actually. So I was just wondering, it was very nice. And uh, and, uh, and you expressed uh, what Maharishi is teaching, you know, this is a concept, the magnetism so well, but this online is for the beginners. So you just made it very easy for us to comprehend actually. And, Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you, madam. Anyway, it is uh, is partly the subject of uh, Kayakalpam. So from there, I have expected this uh, slides uh, relevant to this topic. Thank you, thank you for the comments. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Who is the next one to raise your hand? And so to, we need to save energy if mm -hmm. you, that is for that Kaya Kalpa is Samast. So that, that you are told indirectly. Yeah, another thing I have to touch upon is uh, finally, okay, how to control emotion. Okay, we know emotion is uh, resulting in loss of energy. So to control emotion is to practice Maharishi's uh, for concept, physical exercise, meditation, 
kayakalpam and uh, introspection this will automatically tune our uh, mind frequency to be balanced and we don't hit high and low so this i should have added one uh, slide on that so ultimately we have to follow those uh, magrisis concept with uh, full understanding so that we don't uh, get emotional at any any point of time yes sir yes also you you just touched on the limit and method theory of our magrisi yeah. about the food work sleep rest and thoughts sex and thoughts and so we need we need to be moderate mm. on those things sir. then the emotions may not rise and our mental frequency will be kept in alpha yeah correct anybody anyone else dear friends some uh, uh, participants are asking for this slide i can share it uh, no issue yes sir thank you sir dear friends uh, what sir has explained this is a concept of kayakalpa yoga uh, and our magrishi is pioneer in this he has gifted this kayakalpa yoga to the world which is very important for us to save the energy to save the svf sexual vital fluid and this will help us to lead a long life so that we can uh, just uh, uh, be, lead a peaceful life and also uh, do our duties fulfill the duties uh, for which we have come to this world and so he has touched how to uh, save the energy well uh, sir uh, karnakara murthy sir thank you sir for that and as uh, sunanda has said a very simple and also interesting you have covered uh, about this energy saving process very efficiently and very interestingly thank you sir thank you friends hello friends anyone else sir would you like to uh, give some more views and some more points okay if, if you are free and if time permits for you yeah 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 no problem uh, i am just seeing comments anything is there specific i can answer i think they are okay. they are just uh, they have enjoyed the topic uh, the speech uh, and they are yeah. just uh, okay so probably i went little fast i am uh, sure that people would have grasped it it was not faster it was no, good sir okay okay so uh, okay was. i think uh, viswa sir i think he is uh, raised yes viswa sir you can yes. unmute yes kiran mai case ne ni viswa sir ah well for a moment well for a moment a good speech uh, uh, kanaram ji yeah uh, as uh, sonanta has mentioned uh, presentation was good uh, unfortunately we were not able to see you uh, on the screen uh, your beautiful face see the, the question is you know, my question is uh, we are meditators yes and uh, sonanta said we are beginners so my question is uh, for the beginners for the beginners uh, i believe most of them are beginners uh, what would you suggest you see we are we are surrounded by uh, forces which most of the time excite us and make us uh, emotional a, a simple talk speech with your wife or husband can stir your emotion i think everybody would agree with me this is the Uh, normal happenings in the time. So, for for beginners or for anybody else for that matter, uh, how can we uh, 
be in a position where we can remain calm at all the time and expand the minimum of energy, vital energy within us. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, uh, Alamudan. Welcome, Alamudan. Good Vishwaya, this uh, point I was uh, thinking uh, to uh, explain, but uh, it has come through your question. Okay, we call sportive sports persons. For sports person, we call it sportive. So the sportiveness, when it comes, when we are able to accommodate others and when we are able to increase the tolerance. So for us, that attitude comes. We go away from our uh, miserly or very confined thinking to very elaborate. So why the sports person have that magnanimity generally is due to the physical activity they regularly carry out. So in our system also, first to start with, everybody should focus from the signs of body as well as to get rid of the bad karmas. The emotion comes from karmas. We have three karmas, Sanjida, Pravarta, Prarapta, and Akame Karma. So when we regularly do exercise first, first our physical cells will become free of toxin and absorb good energy. Then the mind will become light and healthy. The sound body will have sound mind and sound actions. So to first uh, to become moderately emotional and to accommodate others and increase the tolerance, everything, first we should uh, have in our lifestyle the minimum physical exercise as a base. Because we are getting carried away with the world uh, activities happening around us, mainly these two sensories, the, the, the high sense and the hearing. We normally come across the world activity through, through these two sensories. If these two sensories are seeing negativity, the negativity will get into our system also. So when we are first doing a regular exercise, first they go to the root all this uh, physical exercise from a floating attitude to grounding. So when we do exercise, our exercise is basically physical meditation. We are meditating over our body because our system only three postures with eyes open, rest of the postures are with eyes closed. So there, unless you come to the reality, you cannot be coming and uh, doing this exercise with the mind focused on your body. So when this becomes a regular feature in our lifestyle, this normally we don't get carried away by the surroundings. And every day you come to the reality, you think of your body, your mind is uh, uh, focused on your body and then doing this exercise. You also know how to ground and also how to fly. So you should know both. Then that tolerance will increase and mind frequency will be balanced we can get over the emotions at whatever situation. So this is my understanding. So, sir, is it okay? This is one of the basic things for everybody need. Then comes your mind training is meditation. So that also will keep at lower level. We don't go 40 at all when we are regular meditators. That is the next level. So that we are balanced in our uh, uh, mind frequency. Even somebody uh, pinpoints or scolds, we don't immediately take it to our heart. We just, our thought process will just see other persons for some reason is emotional. So we will be able to manage any situation. So that is the next step of uh, our meditation will support in controlling our emotions. And for these two, the Kaya Kalpam is the source of vital energy to strengthen. So this way, this Kaya Kalpam will support the physical self and meditation. 
and then the last part of introspection it is like a close guided missile so we we don't get uh, tracked away due to situations and when we do regular introspection we see our uh, negative points and and then we correct ours then automatically the next uh, happening of anything against us will uh, uh, get away so this uh, introspection also will guide us to reach our uh, target or goal of uh, self realization that is ultimate for uh, beginners also first we should understand our uh, mistakes so that uh, we don't come across others uh, curse or anything so the introspection the fourth part also will help us ultimately in uh, balancing our life style yes that's an interesting perfect answer sir anybody else anyone else i think uh, everyone is satisfied with your lecture and that's why they have not raised their hands shall we wind up sir yes yes thank you today's program is uh, nearing 7:30 7:30 now yes sir uh, thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you very much sir for your excellent presentation also th- i just uh, thank all the participants of today thank you all and uh, we will meet again next sunday with another interesting topic on vedadriyam in the meanwhile we have meditation daily daily meditations morning 6 am and uh, evening 6:30 pm sharp indian standard time uh, also we have this uh, uh, physical exercises and kayakalpa yoga or video and uh, and uh, after meditation we are giving thought for the day also from the book of blossoms of life authored by our guru vedadri magarishi kindly do participate in large numbers and enjoy the bliss thank you all dear friends thank you also thank you all professor balachandrayya and also karuna karamurthy sir thank Be you all the all the